All right, time to review some statistics here. So uh, let's find some stats for some the top 10 salaries for t the top 10 male actors and female as far as being the highest paid in 2017. All right. So uh, we have we want to find the mean. So the mean for the males, we got to find the total. Remember, mean is total. So we divide the total, which comes out to be 488.5 by 10, and that gives us 48.85. The females mean uh, we, we total them all up, all the salaries, and we get 172.5. And there's 10 of those, so we're going to divide them and get 17.25. All right, the median. Well, when we look to find the median here, there's 10 of them. So we count 5 in. There's 5, and there's 5 over on the right, right in the middle. So we have to average these two. So that's uh, 48 and 49. So when there's two numbers in the middle, remember you got to average them, okay? And so that gives us 48.5. For the females, we have one, two, three, four, five. There's the five uh, lowest numbers. There's the five greatest numbers. Oh, the other way around because they're flipped here. So uh, as far as lowest and highest. So we're going to average these two. We got 14 and 15.5. So when you can't see the center of those, uh, you've got to average them. Most of us uh, probably can't just see that in our head. It's going to come out to be 14.75. Okay. The mode, so mode means the one that repeats. So we look for the one that repeats here. And uh, for the male actors, and there's none that repeats. So when there's none that repeat, we say there's no mode. All right. So we have no mode. And looking at the female actresses here, we have... A couple that do repeat here. Uh, we notice that 12 repeats twice, 14 repeats twice, and that's it. So we can have two repeats. We have 12 and 14. Remember, we got two, okay? The range, all right? Range, we're going to take the smallest minus the least, and so we've got... Uh, that's, that doesn't make any sense. How about the largest minus the smallest? 68 minus 35.5. So we uh, take 68 minus 35.5, and that gives us 32.5. For the females, 26 is the highest, uh, minus 11.5, and that gives us 14.5. All right? Great. So uh, there we have our measures of center. Remember, these guys are measures of center for mean, medium, mode. And then we have our range, okay? Range tells us how spread out they are. So uh, now we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to move on over here and talk about, uh, do a frequency chart here, okay? So, and do a histogram. So in our frequency chart, uh, we have, uh, we want to know how often they appear, okay? So uh, we got to do the count. So 35.5, first section, 35.5 to 39.9. Now, some of your handouts may say uh, 39.5. I changed that uh, before the printing this. So if yours says 39.5, it's the same idea. They're all going to fall in there, but really this goes all the way up to 40, and then this group goes all the way up to 45, okay? So uh, when we count these here, uh, we have, let's see. We're going to go up here. And we're going to look at the actors. We want to know 35 to 39.9. And that comes out to be, uh, there are these three right here, three people, okay? So three people are going to go down here. We have three actors. And then from 40 to 44.9, we have these ones right here. This guy's from 40 to 44.9, all right? Just one of them, okay? 
one actor there, all right? And one. And to finish it up, it looks like this. And it looks like our table actually doesn't go far enough, so we're gonna have to extend this a little bit. We got 65 to 69.9, so we're up to 70. And there's one person there, Mark Wahlberg, all right? So we're going to graph this now. And so our graph, our lowest number is 35. So we're going to put the, the small numbers here, 35, 40. The smallest number is these ones right here. Okay. So I'm putting those numbers right there. Those are going to be the numbers on our axes. Okay, 35, 40. And we got, you know what, I'm going to do this. Uh, I'm going to just put every other one, and we can realize that the tens are in between 55, 60, 65, and then we're going to be a little off the charts, okay? And there's a jump here, so we're going to put a little break going on right there, all right? And we'll go by ones here, so one, two, three, four, five. Six. You don't have to label every single one. We do need to label what these are. These are incomes. And this is frequency over here. Frequency is how often it appears. Okay. So now let's make some bars on our graph here. So from 35 to 40, we're going up 3. From uh, 40 to 44, we're going up 1. And then we're going up 2 for the next group. And then 2 for the next group. 0, 0. And we need to put a 1 out here from 65 to 69. All right. So there's our bar. There's our histograms. They're connected. All right. And uh, yeah. There's the males. So we'll do the females in the same way here. I'll go a little quicker. Uh, you should, uh, when counting, your numbers should look like this. Three, three, one, zero, one, and two. So just go through the list and count those. All right. Now uh, here, we're going to, again, put the lowest numbers on our axes from 10. Now notice this one's going by three. So a little different scale here. 10, 13, 16, 19, uh, 22, is that right? Yeah, that's right. Uh, and then 25, all right, cool. And uh, then we're gonna plot our bars, a uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. This is income, get our labels here. And this is frequency. Okay, and uh, let's go ahead and make our bars, something like this. We've got three, and three, and one, zero, one, and two. All right. A little colored in there, look all fancy like. All right. So there's our frequency and our income. Now, a um, little different scale. All right. Notice this one only goes down to 25, so we can't can't totally compare these. All right. Um, we've got kind of some several of the higher ones, several lower ones, and dips down in the middle. This one kind of swoops down towards the end. Okay, which one seems closer to a normal distribution is the next question, is symmetric. Well, unfortunately, we're gonna have to say uh, neither. So, neither. Or, um, yeah, so really neither. Uh, we, we can say maybe the may, the actors, the males, okay. But uh, uh, we, remember when we have uh, a normal distribution, uh, they need to be a bell-shaped curve. So not bell-shaped is just kind of the key, all right? And that's good enough for now, okay? A normal curve, normal graph is going to go up and down, all right? These don't do that. Uh, this guy just kind of comes down like that. 
and this guy is going to go kind of down and up. This is just goofy. So neither. Let's say that. All right. If the standard deviation, we know the standard deviation for the actors is 11.2. Standard deviation for the actresses is 5.8. All right. So uh, which one has... Uh, explain why the actresses have a smaller standard deviation, okay? Uh, well, a smaller standard deviation means they are closer to the mean, okay? So they're closer to the mean, and if we look up at the numbers here, we can see uh, the, the average for the females is 17.25, okay? And, and these guys are all pretty close to 17.25, all right? They're... Uh, 17 down to 11 is about 6, 17 up to this is about 9. Uh, the males is 48, and so from 48.85, that's this guy right here, uh, the distance from 48 uh, down to here is about 13. So they're, they're kind of more spread out. They're farther away from the mean. That's all we need to know, okay? A lower standard deviation means they're closer to the mean. Higher means they're away from the mean. Rolling along uh, to some box and whisker plots. We're going to go ahead and find some quartiles here, all right? So uh, they're already in order. Remember, if they're not in order, you need to put them in order, okay? So since these guys are already in order, we're in luck. We cut it in half. We already know what the medians are. We found that previously, 48.8, nope, 48.5. And for the actresses, we have 14.75. Found those before. Now we got to cut these in half. And so uh, since there's five numbers here, we got five numbers going on right here, the middle one is going to be this guy right here. So this is the first quartile for the actors, 54.5. And the second quart, actually the third quartile, it's like three quarters of the way, is 38. For the actresses, we have 25.5. That's halfway. Oh, wait. I lied. Let's back that up. Back it up, back it up. Uh, we have, there's our 5 there. There's our 5. What's in the middle? 24. What's in the middle over here? 12 is in the middle of that group of 5. Did I even get these backwards? I did, didn't I? Okay, because, because our, our list is going backwards right to the left so I need to take these and flip them around and that's why we check ourselves here and so did you catch that um, so the smaller number is the first quartile the larger number is the third smaller number oh I did it again here all right smaller number goes on the first quartile great so now let's make a box and whisker plot for each one all right uh, and so we're going to put the, the actresses go from 12. So we have, uh, let's get a larger here. All right. So we have uh, 12 right about, this is going by fives. So 12, we have 14.75. And I'm going to need a little skinnier. 14.75 here. Okay, and what else we have? 24 goes on here, so 24, that's over right here. And then we need the minimum and the max. The minimum is 11.5, okay. So here's this guy at 11.5. Let me make that a little smaller. And they're all kind of crammed in here. So that's our that's our max. And then our min actually, where's our max for the actresses? Our max is 26. Min was that. So max is 26. So we gotta zoom in over here. 26. There we go. Okay. All right, so we can make our box in the middle, whiskers go to the end. So we have, remember our uh, minimum. Minimum, our maximum, our median, and these are our quartiles. Okay, so there's for the girls, the females. And now let's do the males. The males go from uh, 35.5 to 68. 
So 35.5 right about here to 68. 68 is going to be all the way over here about. You don't need to be exact on that number, just close, especially because we're labeling it. And then we've got the quartiles the, for the actors. We've got 38 for the first one. So let's get 38 on there, right about here. 38, and then our median's at 48.5. And then at uh, 54.5, okay, we have our third quartile. All right. So there's the actors, all right? We can see how they're spread out. Um, it looks like the, the median's a little off to the left here for the girls. So it's kind of a lot, 25% over here, all right? Uh, but the whiskers are about the same, okay? So it's a little symmetric there. Here, this is leaning to the left. We've got this kind of an outlier. 68 seems to be an outlier. It's way out there, okay? All right. Well, let's look at some uh, athlete salaries. So those are actors. How about athletes? Let's see how they kind of compare. And we're going to go through the same steps. So I'll go a little quicker here. We're going to find the, the uh, men. we got a mean. We have 624. Find the total. Divide it by how many there are. That's 62.4. For the women, their total adds up to 110, and that gives them a mean of 11 million. These are millions of dollars, by the way, right? The median, again, we have 10, so we're going to cut them in half. So we're going to look right here. We're going to average those, and we get 55.5 uh, for the men and 9.5 for the women. Uh, which one has a clear outlier? So look at these here. These are all fairly close, or like within six. There's a gap there, but 93 is not that far. 46 close to 47. Six and seven are close, but 27 is twice as big as uh, 13, which is right next to it. So now the women um, have uh, an outlier of $27 million, okay? And why, so why is it an outlier? It's, uh, it's far away from its neighbor, okay? Away from the closest value, all right? That's Serena, tennis player, Serena Williams. Um, so she gets paid a lot of money because she's awesome, okay? So, um, now we're going to look at the mean without the outliers. So we said that 27 here is an outlier, and we want to find the mean of the rest of the salaries. So mean is the average. So we're going to find the total here. And we get a total of 83. We're going to divide that by the 9 left over. There's only 9 now. And that gives us 9.22. That's the mean. All right. Um, so our average was 11 million. And now it's 9.2 million. So that's a difference of almost $2 million. So uh, which, oh, the median. We need to find the median now. So we've got. Only nine numbers left over because that one doesn't count. So we got four and four there. Okay, so let's kind of work our way in uh, the idea. And we end up with eight in the middle. So the median is eight million dollars. All right. So this one was 11 uh, for the mean. And the median was 9.5 before. So which one was affected more? Uh, well, uh, it's a close one here. It's a close one here. The mean was changed by about 1.78. Here, the median was changed by about 1.5. It went down. So, um, so the median 
or I'm sorry, the mean is always changed the most by an outlier, okay? So the mean is affected the most. A couple more here. So we got the standard deviation. So the standard deviation of the min is $17.8 million. The standard deviation for the women's is six. So remember, standard deviation tells us how close we are to the mean. So what does this tell us about the, the salaries for the top athletes? Okay, so the men's salaries are more spread out. Men's salaries are less consistent, okay? Uh, they're less consistent or they're farther from the mean, okay? So that means they're more spread out uh, all over the place, farther from the mean. So the women's salaries are going to be closer to their average than the men's, okay? The men's uh, are kind of all over the board, more spread out, all right? And then last but not least, let's make a box and whisker plot for the women's salaries, okay? Uh, so we're, this is going to be with the uh, outlier. So we have a median. We found on the other page that the median is, well, I have it in parentheses up there, 9.5, and we need to find the first quartile. Oh, we call that Q1. First quartile and the second quartile. Uh, I'm sorry, the third quartile. The second one is the median. The third quartile is what we need. So let's look at the women's salaries here, including this uh, guy here this outlier. We're going to include that now, all right? So if we include that, then we have, here's our halves, okay? So there's five and five. The median was right in here, the original median. Okay, and that original median was uh, what we say, 9.5, because that's right between 11 and 8. Now, if we look at the lower, the smaller group, seven is the court, the third quartile, and twelve is the first quartile. Q1. Okay. Uh, oh, I I got that backwards again. Uh, sorry for uh, that. The this is third quartile. Third quartile is always bigger than the first quartile. All right. There we have it. So the. First quartile is seven, that's the middle of the bottom half. And we said 12 was the third quartile. And then the largest number is 27. And the smallest number is six, okay? So smallest number is six, let's put that here. Largest number is 27, let's put that up here. The median is 9.5. That's down here, that's eight, nine, 10, so 9.5 is gonna be right here. The first quartile is seven, and the third quartile is 12. So when we put in this box whisker plot, whiskers out here, it gives us a good picture of what's going on with this outlier. See this outlier way out here? Okay, when you look at a list of numbers, you can't tell so much, but uh, when you put it on the graph to see the relative distance, uh, it's kind of amazing how different that is, all right? This is all pretty balanced in here, and this one outlier is way out there. So, all right, there you have it, and uh, there's our review, all right? So for the test, be ready to find mean, medium, mode, and range. Be ready to talk about an outlier, and be ready to make a box plot, and finally, be ready to make a, a histogram, okay? And remember, our, uh, on our histogram and on a dot plot, we can tell if it's normal or not. If it's normal distribution, it should be a bell-shaped curve like this, okay? Nice and balanced, so. All right, there's your review. Study hard. If you got questions, come ask.